Hello, and welcome to Markets in Focus. My name is Joe Bell, and today I'm going to walk you through some of the most interesting financial market themes that I'm observing. So a lot of us at this point are, are familiar with the tough day on Black Friday, right after the Thanksgiving holiday, with the S&P 500 down more than 2%, small caps down more than 3.5%. That comes on the heels of what's been a very rough few weeks in November, caps off a, a, a good start, but a tough ending for the month of November. Also recently, Federal Chairman Powell was reappointed by President Biden. That, of course, in the midst of a rising interest rate environment that we've been experiencing. And finally, a, a look at airline travel just made a new high post-pandemic high the weekend before Thanksgiving travel. will be interesting to see how that unfolds over the next few weeks after the unfortunate news around the COVID-19 variant. Now, as I mentioned, during the month of November, you see there in the first column for each respective segment of the equity markets and all the way at the bottom, the ag, that's the Bloomberg Barclays US ag bond index from the beginning of October through November 8th. And November 8th, of course, was when the S&P 500 peaked along with some of the other major market indices. We saw most segments of the market led by small caps, but good participation across the board from large cap and small cap equities, all very, very positive, even bonds slightly positive, despite that, that, that sort of rising rate environment as it's kind of grinded higher during or sideways during that period. But a complete reversal since then, some of that was giving back that strong breakout that it experienced during the first week of November. But it extended dramatically during Black Friday after I mentioned earlier the, the, the jump in fear around the new variant from COVID-19. Um, some of that spotted not thus far over in the United States, but internationally. Only a few cases so far, but we begin to see the European Union react very strongly. So it'll be interesting to see how that impacts consumer sentiment, not only globally, but domestically as well. We've already seen it impact stock markets quite dramatically on Black Friday with, as I said, the, S the, the Russell 2000 small cap index leading the way lower north of 3.5% gap down on Thursday through Friday. Now, as I mentioned earlier as well, Federal Chairman Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman Powell was reappointed by Biden. There was some talk for months about the rising odds of Brainerd perhaps unseating Powell, but that was not the case as Biden sort of uh, kept it a uh, continuation of the chairman uh, that we've had during the past several years. He did appoint Brainerd to a new vice chair of the committee, so a bit of a promotion for her and puts her into perhaps a better position for a chair seat down the line. Um, and also, if you look at it over the next coming months, we would expect Congress to approve these. Appointment would not officially happen till February. And there's still three seats remaining that Biden will potentially fill here over the next few months. Some expecting these to be perhaps a little more um, strong on financial regulation, which was sort of Brainerd's um, theme, along with potentially tougher on climate change. So keeping Powell in place, but potentially putting in some more members that are a little bit more in alignment with uh, Biden's policy from the, from the White House. And finally, I, I talked about traveling. It'll be interesting as this data comes out. This is the data as of the weekend previous to Thanksgiving, reached a new all-time high of 2.24 million. Um, Thanksgiving, obviously a big weekend for travel. It's going to be somewhat impacted by COVID, but we would expect travel to obviously pick up from the previous weekend. But you throw in that unexpected jolt of uh, fear around COVID-19. It will be interesting over the next month to see how that unfolds and impacts uh, not only actual sanctions from companies or quarantine measures and things like that, but consumer sentiment and consumer behavior, or even if we don't see shutdowns and things like that, I think it, it does definitely impact consumer behavior and sentiment around the U.S. economy and the global economy as well. And finally, I want to wish everybody a, a little bit of a, a late Thanksgiving and thank you for watching as always, but especially during the holidays here. Um, holidays have been around for a while. It's obviously popular. I looked at some recent surveys, about 93% of Americans celebrate it. Holidays been around since the late 1800s when it was named a holiday by President Abraham Lincoln. Of course, it originally started all the way back in Plymouth Rock with a, a sort of a combination celebration between the settlers and the Native Americans in that area celebrating the, the, the wonderful harvest 
from the crops that they have been growing all year and sort of a celebration for this harvest and the, the food that they were going to have to, to, to serve them throughout the winter. So people do still celebrate it for those reasons, but of course the surveys say 73% celebrate it for the fact that if they host, they will have leftovers. So um, things have changed, but I think people do generally get out there and celebrate and spend time with friends and family. I'm sure a lot of you did as well. So from, um, from Meter and myself, I want to again, thank you for your continued viewership and your partnership. Thank you very much and have a good day.